legal capacity is a legal right to be able to make decisions in your own life. The right to make my own health care decisions, the right to my personal life and care decisions about where I'm going to live, who I'm going to live with, who my intimate partners are going to be, what I'm going to do with my money, how I'm going to manage my property. So it's, we're talking about the stuff of daily life. But there's a whole group of people, people with intellectual and cognitive disabilities, who are denied this right on the basis that they don't meet the cognitive criteria for what it means to be a full human being. If you've got your mind and your, you can maintain your identity and communicate your identity with others, then, then it's like you're still in the circle of what it means to be fully human. But if you don't meet that criterion, sorry, your, your decisions don't have kind of normative and legal force in society. We all have a stake in creating a society where dependence doesn't need to be a uh, reason for exclusion. I was doing research in the area in the 80s of people who had been with really profound intellectual disabilities who had been institutionalized and there had been a move to deinstitutionalize and support support them to move to the community and had been led in uh, Western Canada by a group of parent leaders. To hear the stories of these parents talk about who their son and daughter was to them as a, as a, as a person in a way that I couldn't see it but they actually knew them as people. They actually knew what they wanted. They could understand what this gesture meant what was important to them. It became really clear to me, and I became fascinated with this idea that this person, and in fact the agency of this person, resides in the stories that those who are around them hold and can tell. So we don't reside in our heads as much as we reside in this space between us. Financial support systems, community systems, legal systems, made it impossible for that, that perception of that person to matter, to count legally. The alternative that we've been working on goes right back to the community level and the basic relations between people and what we call supported decision making. If I have a group of people around me that know me and can interpret my gesture as this is his will, this, these are the preferences that matter to them, then that's really the basis on which I could begin to be respected by the broader community, the doctors and the banks. That's what we're trying to do. So we're starting from something that's very, very, very practical and then working out from that to, to change healthcare systems and financial institutions and legal provisions. There's such common sense, you know, such naturalized ways of doing things that have to be unpacked.